1920s was an interesting time for the world. In Geneva, the League of Nations struggled with world affairs. Benito Mussolini marched on Rome. And in Germany, Adolf Hitler wrote Mein Kampf while in prison. In America, the 1920s was a colorful period. Woodrow Wilson was president when women got the right to vote. Prohibition went into effect and Lindbergh flew the Atlantic. Rudolph Valentino was mesmerizing all the women. And Gilda Gray was making the nation shimmy crazy. And in New York City, everything was happening. Jimmy Walker made a colorful mayor. And everybody who could afford it wanted a wireless set. A local boy made good and gave the world its first talking motion picture. And in Harlem, a tiny community in the middle of Manhattan, Marcus Garvey raised money for the purpose of taking Negroes back to Africa. Duke Ellington was writing a new page in American musical history. Tonight, it's Diane Carroll, Sammy Davis Jr., Duke Ellington, Sidney Poitier, George Kirby, it's Gloria Lynn, Brownie McGee, Nipsey Russell, and Joe Williams will recreate some of the highlights of that era, which for most of America is called the Roaring Twenties. But in Harlem, it was called the Strolling Twenties.
what we call it, strolling. Folks all dressed up, walking up and down 7th Avenue, Lenox Avenue, 135th Street. Meeting friends to joke, to laugh, to eye the girls and get the latest news by word of mouth. Find out who's going with who. Who got married last week? Who died? Who lost their job? Will Marcus Garvey get across the Atlantic before Lindbergh? Will the mob be able to move Dutch Schultz out of the numbers racket? Will Herbert Hoover make a good present? And all this taking place right here in our little village of Harlem. Excuse me, but could you tell me where the Harlem YWCA is? Just stroll up here about two blocks and turn left, we say. Harlem is a song with a minor refrain. Harlem is a dream. Folks keep dreaming again and again. Harlem's a tear held back until it turns into a smile. Harlem is the sunrise you know has got to come after a while. Harlem is the kids you hope will grow up nice. Harlem is the shoes you have half sold twice. It's many hands working hard all day long. It's the prayer you pray that keeps you going along. That's Harlem. And I like it. The fact is, I love it. Ever since I came up from down under and threw one foot over the Mason-Dixon line and stepped into Harlem, that dusky sash across the middle of Manhattan, and somebody handed me a house rent party card. If you want to have some fun, come by, kid, and party a while with Lulu and Sid. Brown skin galore, food, liquor, and more. Everything will be all right. 819 Lennox, apartment 12, tonight. Twenty-five cents. That is if you're lucky and got it, else you just don't get in. It's rent time and the man is crowding close, so you charge 25 cents at the door and you call on everybody and everything to help get it up. Even a tinkling treble and a rolling bass. High noon teeth in a midnight face. Great long fingers on great big hands. Screaming pedals where his twelve shoe lands. It seems his eyes are teasing pain a few minutes late for the freedom train. All right, you know good old wagon. Come on, Gloria, there's no excuse. Come on. Come on.
and then to have a little day. But if you treat me right, I'll buy the blade. Hey, Daddy! <laughs> Wait for your change. Oh, petty change is for petty people.
don't take it so hard. sweet as they are. I tell you, everyone in my book is a living star.
You know, there are 168 hours in a week, and around here most of that time is spent in the struggle for survival. And sometimes when that struggle becomes a little too much, we turn to our poets, our artists, our players. of your observation is overwhelming. Fill it up. Double it. You don't seem your usual jolly self to see. Cheers. True, my good man, tis true. But whenever I have been to the opera, not one subtle nuance escapes me in any of the pretty works. Puccini is totally within my comprehension. Bizet has filled me with an overwhelming sense of feeling for life. Ah, but alas, I have come across something that has stirred my soul to a great melancholy. What's that? There's something I just don't do. Why, man, are your culture and learning? There ain't nothing you don't know, Big Daddy. Hold it. Now, I got no education. 
But I'm born with mother wit. On any kind of subject, can converse a little bit. Now, you know about the elephant's memory? Well, mine is just that way. Anything that is taught to me right in my brain will stay. I know just where Columbus went when he sailed from sunny spring. I know what causes thunder and I know what causes rain. My great granddaddy left to me a book on ancient history. I know about Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. Cause I've been reading. Now I know about Peter and Paul. Cause now I, I don't know at all. Know about them planets though. <laughs> Up there in the sky. I can solve just about any kind of mystery. There's just one thing that puzzles me. I want to know where did Tosti go when he said, Goodbye forever. Goodbye forever. I want to know where Tosti went. When he said goodbye. Now, I ain't no music master. Man, I can't even read a note. But I remember everything that uh, Jimmy Walker, I uh, me, Mr. Wagner, <laughs> ever wrote. I know some of Mr. Rubenstein's beautiful melodies, and I know some poems by Paul. Man, I know who killed the poor dead sea. Why, there's few things that, that I don't know. I can solve most any kind of mystery. There's just one thing that puzzles me. I want to know where did Tosti go when he said goodbye forever. I know who 
I love best. Some down on all the rest. My love was given heart and soul, so it can stand the test. No one to talk with all by myself. No one to walk with for that has feel just Hey, Mr. Haven, I'm saving my love for you. La, da, 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 da. I know for certain the one I love. I'm through with flirting with just you I'm thinking of. Hey, Miss Behaven, I'm saving my love for you. Well, I'm going to jump corner, in that corner, I don't go nowhere, what do I care? Your kisses are worth waiting for, believe me. I don't stay out late, I don't get a go. And I'm home about eight, just me and my radio. Hey, Miss Frahaven, I'm saving my love for you. When he faces the cold light of day and remembers the job he never could get, never could have, and can't have now, sometimes he just sits here in the middle of Harlem and looks out on the world and hates to remember that he don't know 
what he's going to do. Nobody knows where I feel this morning. This morning. Nobody knows where I feel this morning. I had my way. The graveyard is the place my head would lay. Nobody knows where I feel this morning. I feel like I could scream and cry this morning. Put 
it in the corn pone. Yes, sir. With just one S. Yes, sir. Which give you some. Yes, sir. Oh, well, did you like it? Oh, well, did you like it? A little girl, little girl. Do you love your brother? Yes, sir. Do you love your sister? Yes, sir. Do you love your papa? Yes, sir. Do you love your mama? Yes, sir. Do you love everybody? Yes, sir. Oh, well, do you love everybody? of happy sounds, the jazz center of the world. Every village has its meeting place, and the Savoy happens to be ours. Not that there aren't other places for people to meet in, like the Cotton Club, for instance. But the Cotton Club ain't for colored folks. True, they don't have signs up telling you this, but, well, we just can't get in. But in our own place, the Savoy, we dress up and pay tribute to the black musical giants of the day.
not the melody, it's not the music, it's something else that makes this music Tell me the thing if you ain't got that. Do what, 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 do
attracted. I love you. Thank you. 